Nexus Dashboard, Cisco's cloud networking platform, enables infrastructure lifecycle automation and operations. In light of recent news of companies that have implemented upgrades resulting in outages, Nexus Dashboard offers pre-change validation with upgrade assist and change management template management and rollback. It's a critical capability that evaluates configuration changes before they are deployed to allow IT ops to make changes with confidence. The operator logs into the Nexus dashboard and uses the orchestration functionality to allow ICMP messaging between two parts of the web service application. The front end should be able to talk to the back end. The change is then designed and after the design is completed, the change is sent for approval. Next, the network approver logs in and is alerted about a change that needs to be approved. The change is validated, detailing what configuration is modified and how the deployment plan is so that the network approver can start to create a pre-change verification in the Nexus dashboard to check this configuration. Next, we can perform the pre-change analysis and view which changes are going to be made which in this case are adding the ICMP to the front end and to the back end functionality. Next, let's look at the Delta analysis to see if this change to the current fabric creates any issues with the fabric. And great news, there are no issues. We can now go back to the orchestrator functionality and approve this change from the networking site. Next, it will be sent to a second approver that will check if we are violating any compliance rules for that system. We see here the web service that we must create an approval for. Let's go back to the pre-change verification where we can check the organizational compliance rules that are set up for that fabric. We can check here if any compliance rules have been violated during the change. In this case, all compliance rules are satisfied, so we can go ahead and approve the change in the orchestrator functionality and send it for deployment. Now that the approval is sent and we can see that the system registers as fully approved, the deployer can plan to deploy this change to the fabric. The deployer will click deploy at the point in time when it needs to be deployed, and then we can see the full information, that it is approved, who approved it, and that it is successfully deployed to the fabric.